Hello, and thank you for your interest in the Landmarks of American History and Culture Grant Program offered by the National Endowment for the Humanities Division of Education Programs. My name is Jason Harshman, a program officer in the Division of Education, and along with program analyst Mariam Moese, we serve as lead staff for the Landmarks Program. If you have not yet downloaded the current Notice of Funding Opportunity, or NOFO for short, it is available below this video on the NEH Landmarks page, along with sample applications from previously awarded programs, a sample budget justification form, sample project schedules, and information about how NEH staff can assist you with applying. We have recorded three short videos that offer an overview of the current Landmarks NOFO, along with specific examples and tips for completing your application. This first video explains the purpose of the Landmarks program and includes examples of projects previously funded. The second video focuses on the current NOFO with examples and tips for completing your application. The third video addresses the project budget and requirements for submitting your application via grants.gov. Please note these recordings are not a replacement for the specific requirements laid out in the Notice of Funding Opportunity. And when questions arise, you should first reference the guidelines and can email us at landmarks at neh.gov with questions. So what is the Landmarks of American History and Culture program all about? Landmarks programs can be designed around a variety of humanities topics and are hosted at a range of sites across the United States and its jurisdictions. From waterways to archives, museums and national parks, as well as neighborhoods, homes, churches, and cemeteries, to name just a few sites, Landmarks programs engage participants in the study of a place or a constellation of spaces, landscapes, and other areas around the country to engage in an investigation that explores multiple perspectives and change over time. Project teams bring together methods and scholarship used by historians, archivists, librarians, and museum educators, to name just a few humanities professions, as they engage participants in a deep study of topics that blend history, civics, culture, literature, the arts, environmental studies, as well as digital mapping and place-based pedagogy. A significant outcome of a Landmarks program is the development of curricular materials, scholarship, and or public facing projects that enhance how participants teach and research the humanities using a place-based approach. All Landmarks workshops offer interdisciplinary learning experiences and are open to educators, scholars, and humanities professionals involved in K-12 education, higher education, or humanities work at nonprofit organizations or public humanities institutions. Project teams determine the audience for their project and detail the scholarship, activities, presenters, sites, and projected outcomes in their application. Landmarks projects are designed to appeal to applicants from across the country, meaning each project team is responsible for reaching out to a national audience and may receive inquiries from U.S. citizens living abroad. Landmarks workshops run for two separate weeks for two different groups of participants and can be organized as fully residential, online, or as a combined format program that includes online and in-person meetings. A residential program means all participants attend in person for the duration of the project at the host site. Participants who complete the residential program requirements receive a taxable stipend of $1,300. Landmarks programs can also be designed to offer a fully online experience. A virtual program means all participants attend for the duration of the project using an online platform. This can include synchronous and asynchronous sessions. Participants who complete the virtual program requirements receive a taxable stipend of $650. Landmarks workshops are also offered using a combined format approach. A combined format workshop means all participants attend a portion of the project online and a portion of the project at the host site. Online and residential sessions occur at different times 
but participants attend the same format simultaneously. As an example of a combined format program, you may hold one or two online sessions for all participants prior to their arrival for the residential portion of the program, and then all participate in another online session a few months after the residential portion concludes. Participants complete the combined format program requirements can receive a taxable stipend of $1,300. One example of a Landmarks program that has successfully run multiple times is the most Southern place on earth, Music, History, and Culture in the Mississippi Delta, hosted by Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi. Designed for K-12 educators across the country, the project directors offer the following in their project description. Quote, the Mississippi Delta is simultaneously a unique place and a place that has influenced the American story like no other. It is a place of paradox and contrast, a place described by Will Campbell as being, quote, of mean poverty and garish opulence, end quote. A place that has produced great authors, yet continues to suffer from illiteracy. A place that has produced great wealth for a few, but persistent poverty for many, end quote. Over the course of two separate six day long workshops, participants travel to multiple sites with each day organized around a theme, a song, a food type, and key concepts related to the rich cult cultural tapestry of the Delta region. Meetings with scholars, local civil rights activists and musicians, visits to the Chinese, Jewish, and Black sections of a cemetery, and time spent at the Fannie Lou Hamer Memorial are just some of the activities and sites participants learn through during this workshop. As one participant shared, quote, while each of the week's presentations was impactful, the highlight was the opportunity to meet and listen to Emmett Till's cousin, Reverend, Reverend Wheeler Parker, and to visit both the Tallahatchie County Courthouse and site of Bryant's Grocery in Money, Mississippi. There is simply no substitute for having a personal connection to my curriculum. Viewing the site of the infamous Wolf Whistle, sitting in the front row of the actual courtroom, and listening to Reverend Parker's vivid memories of that fateful night made the places and events I have read about and researched come alive." End quote. Learning experiences like this happen for over 1,000 educators and scholars every year at Landmarks programs held across the country. Are you interested in adding to that legacy? If you would like to speak with a program officer in the NEH Division of Education programs about the Landmarks Grant Program, you can email us at landmarks at neh.gov to set up a one-on-one -on -one video call. Thank you for your time and interest in the NEH's Landmarks of American History and Culture program.